what's up guys welcome to my channel thank you for tuning in today's video is going to be about my one month update from my gastric sleeve surgery and all the good the bad and the ugly and the beautiful as well i will be updating you guys on what i'm going through how i'm feeling trials and tribulations um accomplishments a little bit of it all so you don't want to miss this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and yeah cue that intro all right let's jump right into this video i first of all I want to apologize that i'm in the car i don't usually do my videos in the car but this is actually a good time for me to do it in the car because I'm waiting right now and I'm waiting for something to start and um, yeah long story short is just I'm sitting here so I might as well just get it done um, I have so much going on so I'm trying my best to keep up with these videos I am soon moving to the Bahamas I know I said it like so just but it's actually pretty stressful but I am excited uh, about this trip I'm just a little overwhelmed by the things that I know I need to get done in this small amount of time. So, anywho, I probably will do videos over that and that experience, I'm sure. Most likely I'll vlog it. But that is another story, another video, another day. Today, we're talking about my gastric sleeve surgery. Um, I am a little bit over a month out, a little bit over 30 days out. Actually, I am 33 days or 34 days since my uh, surgery a month ago. And um, I just wanted to update you guys on everything that I'm going through, how I'm feeling, the ups, the downs, and all of that stuff. So uh, I'll start with my weight loss numbers because I know that's usually what people want to hear first. So my starting weight was 268, I believe, or 262 or something. Sorry, I'll put it down here because I'm really thinking of all this on the top of my head. So I apologize if I'm like all over the place. So 260 something. And um, my surgery weight was 250. And now a month later, I am now 235. And I am very, very excited. And it's loud out here. Why so loud? Um, I'm hot. I want to run the window down. I don't want to run my car. Anyways. So yeah, I'm very happy about the weight loss number. Actually now, like more I say it like that is when I really see, you know, well, I really appreciate the weight loss that I've already experienced because right now I'm in this stage of like, I don't really see it per se. I see it a little bit like in my face. I see it a little bit. Um, I see it when I put on certain clothes like that I know was tighter on me just a month or so ago and now it's a little looser including this sweatshirt that I have on today which if you want to purchase the link is in the bio <laughs> um but yeah this sweatshirt was like really tight on me when I first bought it to the point I didn't want to wear it now it's like got some wiggle room and it's like an oversized sweater like I like it so um that's how I really see it um I try not to step on the scale too much because it is moving slow um I actually had like two almost three weeks where the scale didn't move at all like I didn't lose one pound like I was like what the hell is going on like I'm barely eating you know when I do eat most of the times it's like uncomfortable or it's something I don't want to eat and you tell me I'm not losing weight and, and I, I'm walking almost every single day so it was kind of frustrating like stepping on the scale so I stopped doing that I actually um I bought this waist bead and that's really more so how i'm tracking my progress is by where it lands on my stomach so I, it's tied around my waist and uh only way it'll come off is if i like physically cut it or i have to really really pull it really hard so it stays on me like sleep <laughs> excuse me bathing all of that um and that is helping me too because i may not be losing a lot of weight on the scale to me to what i what i thought i would but inch wise, I know I'm losing because my clothes fit differently and my waist speed is dropping. Oh, sorry. I do not know why I have hiccups. Um, that's something else that I experience in this a month in. I get the hiccups a lot. You know, I get gas bubbles trapped a lot because I'm still learning how to eat slower because I still find myself eating fast 
too fast sometimes so yeah um, i'll get more into that in a moment but yeah uh that's the numbers so i've lost the total since surgery day 40 15 pounds so a month i lost 15 pounds so i'm proud of that i'm really proud of that i in my mind i had higher expectations just because I lost weight in the past before naturally. And then I got the surgery in my mind. I thought, oh yeah, this is going to fall off. Your girl's going to be snatched so fast. This is not going to take no time. Blase, blase. And uh, it's taking its time. It's going on its own course. It has nothing to do with my background and what I think I already know. It's still, my body is taking its time. Um, so right now, I'm in the phase, I'm going to phase five. Um, which is now I can start eating more softer foods. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm going to be very transparent. I have, you know, been testing what I can eat in this past month. I have been definitely not 100% on the diet that they've given me, which is super, 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 super duper restrictive. Um, to the point, like, I get bored with food. I get bored with things, period, fast. So I really, really get bored with the food fast. And the list is so limited. It's been times that I'm in situations that I've definitely tried things that's not on that list. And um, I had different experiences. I will say my body isn't as restrictive as others. Um, I do follow a Facebook group of the people who went to the same place I went to. And some people are like, they can't even take their chewable vitamins. They throw up from almost anything that they eat. So like everybody's body is different. My body honestly i have like almost no restrictions only thing i can say that i can't really tolerate like and almost to the point of throwing up is bread anything white like white rice white bread um like those heavy heavy carbs dang i wish i didn't park over here it's so loud um those really really heavy carbs are the ones that i can't handle and i don't even like test myself on stuff like that no more but like i've eaten cheese i've eaten even like you're supposed to puree your meat. I can't do it. I can't puree my food. Like that type of food, I can't eat it. Cause like, I, it's about the aesthetic. Like how it looks to me matters. <laughs> how it looks matters. So I can't eat something that looks like mush or baby food. Like I get disgusted by it. So no, I've been chewing my chicken and I've been chewing my shrimp. You know, even had bacon, chew my bacon. I shouldn't be eating pork. That's like a big no, no for me, but I've been craving bacon and I've been eating bacon when I, you know, every blue moon, not a lot, maybe like twice in this month, but yeah, I chew it real good. Chew it, chew it, chew it like all the way down and then I swallow it, but I don't puree, it, you know, so um, I've tested things like that. I've tested even things with sweets. That's another thing that I can't tolerate that well is things that are super duper 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 duper, duper sweet. Um, my daughter had a birthday party. She had cake. I took a bite of it with the icing, which usually is my favorite. Usually is my favorite part, and I felt literally like I was gonna pass out. I start sweating. I start being short of breath, and it was a weird experience. So I just took the icing off and I ate some of the cake part of the bread, and I can handle like half of that little slice that I cut. So you know, I just couldn't eat the icing. So it's just like certain things I can't handle. Certain things that I can. Um, I do have my Starbucks right here. I do drink coffee, caffeinated. Um, I, I had to because I, I needed it in my life. My phone is hot. Hold on. I need a caffeine in my life. I know. Yeah. Argue with your mommy. <laughs> Argue with your mother. I, I understand I'm not supposed to have it, but everybody has their own process. So i'm going through my process when it comes to caffeine that's just what it is i'm not there yet so i do have my coffee i have it like once a day it actually curbs my appetite even more um i do feel sense of hunger sometimes well it's kind of weird because it's not like my stomach is growling like i remember before my surgery when i wouldn't go a certain amount of time of eating my stomach would literally growl like it would sound like a, um, a very angry man in my stomach it'd be like Rawr. Like, it would really let me know, like, bitch, feed me. Like, so, I haven't had that feeling. And I, it's been times where I, like, drink my coffee in the morning or not drink my coffee in the morning. And I would experience, like, a feeling of, like, yeah, I should eat. But I think it was more like a mind thing because it wasn't like my stomach was growling or anything like that. So, 
I felt like it was more of a a mind thing than like a my stomach being aggressive type of thing. Um, what else should I address? Drinking. So I have been still doing like drinking 30 minutes and then waiting 30 minutes to eat, then eat and then waiting 30 minutes to drink. I have been sticking to that. I have not played with that because I heard that doing that eating and then drinking right after can actually stretch your stomach right out, st stretch your stomach back out and make you sick easier. So for me personally, um, I stick to that rule. I have not tested it. Sometimes it's hard because like you want to drink something to wash it down and you can't, you just can't. Like you just gotta just suck it up and I'll literally put a timer on my phone and wait till my timer goes off and then I'll drink it. But after 30 minutes. So um, I don't know what that feels like to like steer away from that because I refuse to do it. Um, definitely notice like, you know, I can't consume, actually don't even enjoy food the way that I used to. And it's kind of weird because food was an emotional support system for me. So for me not to be able to like have that go-to, that joy that you feel about eating anymore, it makes me really, really think about other things like deep, deeply like, dang, you know, what else do I need to have in my life that fulfills that same joy that food brought me in certain times in my life? Because I don't really get excited about eating food anymore because the things that I like, either I already know I can't have them because I've tried it and it's and it had a, I had a bad experience or I just know better not to try because I know I'm going to have a bad experience. Um, I push limits a few times and every time I do it, I regret it to the point where I'm like, I don't feel like feeling like that right now. Meaning like, I don't feel like feeling overstuffed and like I need to lay down and uh, I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Like, I don't feel like having those feelings. So for me, it comes down to like, I don't be feeling like eating sometimes because I don't, like almost anything triggers it. Like even too much yogurt or too much, too much of anything can trigger those feelings. And um, I don't like feeling sick, so. I start getting turned off by wanting to even eat most of the time, which is crazy for me because that's never been a thing in my life. So, um, what else can I update y'all up on? Uh, really what I've been eating, you know, eggs is one of my favorite things to eat. Egg whites in particular. I don't usually eat regular eggs um, unless someone else makes them. But egg whites have been like one of my go-tos. I still drink my protein shakes. I do not drink the Premier Protein out of the carton anymore. Um, mainly because I've been finding like little floaties in them and I don't know why, even when they're not expired. And so I don't trust them basically. You can't see through the bottle. It's like all covered up with the logo and stuff. So the fact I can't see through it, I know I could pour it in, but sometimes on the go, I can't pour it in the cup. I just, I don't trust them. A few times I drunk it and they had the floaties and it wasn't even expired, made me feel funny about it. So usually I do the powder form of the Premier Protein when I do make one with almond milk, unsweetened almond milk, and it tastes actually better than the carton ones. So, uh, yep, still do protein shakes. Uh, what else do I eat on an often basis? I still do soups. That's usually like when we go out to eat, that's usually my go-to is a soup. I have tried salads. I don't do good with the veg, like, like hard cooked veg vegetables right now those don't digest very well for me right now those hurt literally when i eat salad it hurts so i don't really eat salad as often as i want to i love salad but i usually just get soup no salad um have i tried drinking yes i have tried drinking and surprisingly my body can tolerate it more than i thought i do get drunk a lot faster like i used to can take them back but now i'm like a shot or two i'm good like I'm good and it's that's just what it is I'm good like it doesn't take much for me and I don't really like the feeling of being drunk so it actually kind of turns me off from wanting to drink because feeling of being drunk doesn't feel good either it don't feel good either so for me personally so that hasn't been something I've really like dabbled into a lot um I get heartburn a lot in like a little cases of acid reflux that's usually if I tried something I didn't want to have, I wasn't supposed to have or something too spicy. I get like this burn in my chest. So Tums live with me. I always have Tums on me. I always take a Pepsi, Pepsi C, whatever it's called. Uh, I still take my bariatric vitamins daily. I do think that's essential because I can tell a lot of my nutrition has changed. Um, what else? What else? I don't know why my phone is hot. 
I hate Apple. I feel like they do stuff on purpose. Um, what else can I update y'all on? Uh, I have been. I have, I'm gonna have to cut this video like a little short because my phone is getting hot, and I know it's gonna probably shut down. So, um, I can't remember what I was saying. Oh, exercise. I have been exercising, just cardio. I haven't been lifting or anything like that. I did go back to uh, work. I, I do like odd jobs on the side, like Amazon and things like that right now. I'll be working a different job in Bahamas soon, but um, I do like kind of work for myself, my own schedule and some of the jobs that I do like Amazon Flex, I have to lift things. So I lift that, but like I lift boxes at work, but I don't lift at the gym or anything. I just do treadmill for 30 minutes or sometimes I'll do treadmill 30 minutes and elliptical 15. I'll go into the sauna. I'll, I'll go swimming in the pool. All those cool things. So yeah, that's what I do for exercise. And I work out like five to six days a week. Sometimes three on a like slow week where I just don't have the energy. Um, what else? Someone asked me about sex. Like when can you have sex again? I'm assuming you can have sex like immediately after it. I haven't had sex, so yeah, that's that. Um, yeah, I just wanted to answer that question because someone asked me that. So I feel like, yeah, maybe people are curious about it. Um, but don't, I'm not the doctor, so just ask your doctor if you don't know. Um, I really think that's mainly all I need to update you about. I've been feeling good. Some days I have a lot of energy, some days I have none at all. I don't really blame the surgery for the days I don't have energy. I blame like lack of sleep or, you know, the retrograde and stuff like that. <laughs> like I blame stuff like that over the surgery of why I don't be tired sometimes, but I have more energy than I usually have. Working out starting to become easier. Um, yeah, I'm really happy I got the surgery. I don't regret it one bit. Um, yeah, I don't know if I have anything else to update you guys on. I think that's really it. I think I said a lot. Um, if I missed anything or if you have any particular questions, you know what to do. Follow me on my Instagram at Peace with Neek. Also follow me on my TikTok and you can send me a direct message to either one. Um, comment below, like and share this video. I am super close to getting monetized. The, this bariatric sleeve, uh, gastric sleeve journey has really grown my channel. So I see that my people like this content and it's being shown. I do have hair videos that I need to edit still that I haven't solved my lock lovers. Sorry if you're watching this and you're like, oh, another weight loss video, when is she gonna do hair videos? I promise you, I got you. You see my hair is a different color from my last videos. I have a video about this and I'm going to edit it. They're just a little bit harder and longer to edit than these. So hopefully that one's to help before this one. Um, I gotta get better at editing time. But yeah, thanks you guys for stopping by. Thank you for supporting me, watching my channel. Peace out. Mwah. Love you guys.